I think the major mistake a lot of small businesses make when trying to justify an automation project or any capital expenditure is thinking that they have to justify it fully based on increased productivity. My name is Tim. And my name is Amber, and we're here to help you become a better technician. In the last video, we pitched showing you an automation project from start to finish. We want to take a little time to talk about how you would justify the cost of an automation project, because too many of you have the mindset that productivity is the only way to get an ROI on a capital expenditure. For this project, we're going to be finishing our certificate frames. We get this stainless steel cut from the local fab shop. And currently, we manually finish this frame. And this is what our technicians get in our class. Now, honestly, I cannot justify this automation project. But I want us to use this as an example to show the obvious low-hanging fruit that we can gain with automation. But also, a lot of those hidden expenses and opportunities that a lot of us miss that hold us back. Let's talk about our setup. We run these on our mill and it takes 18 minutes per frame. 208 technicians go through our in-person training each year. The issues we have is it takes time, doing it manually creates an inconsistent product, and I don't even want to start with the sore arms that we get from doing this. And there is a safety issue also. We lay this on a silicone mat and we finish it with our mill. So the mat kind of gives it some gripping force that way we can move it along to the next position. But occasionally the mat doesn't hold good enough. And when it pulls the frame, it actually then grabs the silicone mat and slings the frame out of our hand. Which causes a safety hazard. There's three options beside automation that needs to be considered when figuring out what we can actually spend. Because we could hire somebody, we could farm this out to another company, or we do have to consider the option that we could simply tough this out and keep doing what we're doing. If we hire someone, the average labor cost is $41.03 per hour times 18 minutes per frame divided by 60 times 208 technicians equals $2,560. The issue with this solution is we do not have enough work for that person to do when they're not finishing frames. So for us, like many of you small businesses out there, this isn't even an option. Also, when we get to solution number three, which is sticking with what we're doing, you're going to see that we're not going to be completely solving our problem by hiring someone. Next, we looked into farming it out. The average fabrication shop rate is $120 per hour times $18 divided by 60 times 208 technicians per year equals $7,488. The problem with this is I reached out to several fab shops and no one would actually take on this work. Finally, we could tough it out and Amber and I could just keep finishing these frames. But this is a very high risk situation because we have that sore arm and we have that frame grabbing, which means we have a potential repetitive work hazard. And I looked it up and on average, an arm injury will cost you somewhere between 60 and $80,000. And OSHA has an excellent injury cost estimator in their safety pays program. And we can simply enter the cost of our injury, which is around $40,000 at the low number. And a good profit margin for our company is going to be 10%. And we're just going to consider that we have one injury and click the calculate button. And all we're going to focus on is the bottom line here. Sales to cover the total cost is $840,000. Wow. And there's more to it than that because Amber and I are a small business. If Amber goes out, then we lose half of our business. So it's going to cost us much more than $840,000. So this one is not even an option. We came up with three solutions. A Cartesian. The cost is about $9,000 to $12,000. The pros are that this is a simple two-axis setup with an air cylinder for the spindle and it saves space. The cons are that this is a limited process and it's not really good for training our technicians. While we're building this around our certificate frames as far as how to do an automation project, in the end, this is going to be in our training system. Center. So the next solution, and really the one I'm leaning towards, is a scarer robot. Now, a scarer robot is going to cost about eighteen to twenty thousand dollars, which is going to put our project cost around twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. The advantage of this is it's more versatile. The con is it requires guarding. It's going to have a larger footprint, 
And of course, it costs more. Our third solution is a cobot. Cobot cost is about 30,000 and our total cost would be around 40,000. The pros are, it's easy. It doesn't need guarding. And hey, it's people friendly. The cons are, everything I just said is wrong. And if you would like to see a video on cobots versus robots, put it down in the comments. The solution that we're gonna show you how to do in this video series is the SCARA. It is most beneficial to the technicians that attend our class. Because remember, this is not just about making an automated process for the certificate frames. This is gonna sit in our training center. So it has got to be the most beneficial solution to help us train you. So it's going to be capable of talking about the factory tomorrow. It's going to be capable of talking about Industry 4.0. How do we do preventive and predictive maintenance? And how do we keep our advanced manufacturing processes running? Next, we're going to talk about determining what parts you should put in your automation project and how to determine what it's gonna cost, whether that be internal or when you're quoting a project. When this video has come out, there will be an end screen right here for you to follow us over there. And if it isn't there, then hit the subscribe button. That way you know when it does.